Hey, Jack and Hunter here, and we just saw Paranormal Activity 3. Woo! <laughs> so, first, what did you think of the first two Paranormal Activity movies? I thought the first one was great. I mean, it was a great gimmick that they used for that. Uh, the second one was, it was good, but it was kind of more of the same with the first. Uh, the first one for me, it was a letdown a little bit because I felt like the, it was so much hype, and the ending kind of left me a little flat. But I still really like what they were trying to do, but I felt like it was like, this good when it could have been that good. You know what you needed? A wife who wouldn't go to sleep because she was terrified. There you go. <laughs> and I just saw the second one recently so I could be ready for the third one. And I like the fact that like they made security cameras. You know, they made the excuse for why you'd film most of what yeah. you were filming. Um, and I, I it was a, it was a good rental. Had a good time with it. Again, I love what they're trying to do with these movies and the way that they tried to fit a story into a mythology with what you know, they had started with. I'm impressed with the way they've done that with the, all three of the movies. I mean, they've taken, you know, the first daughter. Was, was the first one Christy? I don't or remember Katie. the daughters. Katie. All right, and then you got the second, and now this is the two of them as small kids in the 80s. And what happened to them then that led, led to all the crap that goes yeah, so on. So why is all this stuff happening to them? I got to say, this is probably my favorite of the Paranormal Activity movies, and I never thought that th I, that would be the case with the third one. No, I thought th I thought this would be total garbage to tell you the truth. I think one of the reasons why was because it was little kids in danger. Little kids are scary as hell. And there was little kids, you know, in the other one there was a you know, baby basically in the other. But having the little kids that you know that age made it more of you know when you were that age you were scared of stuff and not to mention you got that whole kind of like creepy village of the damned kid feel. You yeah. know what I mean? Where they they were onto something that adults can't see or hear. This one also had that little retro feel of, you know those 70s movies where it would turn out that the people in the town were part of a cult? You know, Satan's <laughs> yeah. cheerleaders or the one where they're getting chased by Satanists in the bus. Yeah. Uh, this has kind of an element of that to it without giving to, away too much. But, but let's talk about um, what are a couple of things you liked about this movie. I like the fact that they took that gimmick that they did in the first one that's been repeated by everybody else. And they still made it scary because there was those long, uncomfortable silences. They found ways to put these cameras in different places and different ways of doing it that, I mean, your eyes are just scanning the entire time. And the more you scan They scanning, did a real good job of putting your attention here and then nailing you over here. Uh, yeah. And it, you know what it is? It's just like your attention ratchets up here and here. And I think unlike the first two, this gave you a few moments like a boom, smack in the face, made you jump. Yeah, they Literally. definitely made you jump, and there was a couple of like gotcha moments where they were just messing with you, and then other moments where it was a genuine scare, and it, it was a whole element of fun to this thing. It was just you know like you want to go there and see ghost stuff happen to these people, and you got a lot of ghost stuff happening, you know. And there was you know, I think there's enough suspension of belief because you're you're buying it. You're, you're yeah. here to see that. You roll with it. It's a scary movie. Yeah, that was a, I, I gotta say. The first two, I did not feel as satisfied with this one. I was like, oh, that was a fun little flick. Because they just threw it all up on the wall. They said, you know what? We're not going to try to make you think this is something that's going on in somebody's house. It can go on in your house. Let's just scare the hell out of the audience. I think they did a great job. Yeah, so look at this. The Monster Men are giving Paranormal Activity uh, five claws. Ar I, I mean, we're combined five args. <laughs> age of almost 85 or something, and we were both jumped a few times so yeah do that crabby old men like us like a 13 year old kid is going to love this movie like the commercial says it will mess you up for life and don't pay attention to the commercials because what they show you in the commercial isn't what's in the movie so don't feel like when you've seen the commercial there's nothing to scare you in the movie i've also always been a big fan of the bloody mary thing so i was happy to see somebody finally yay an homage to jack <laughs> all right so that's it for uh, this movie review uh, keep an eye out for the next episode of Monster Men, and uh, if you see this before Halloween 2011, send us some pictures uh, from Halloween. Later, guys.